Welcome. Thanks for coming to class. We are here preparing for a warm, uh, powerful practice. And this is the first section. So get yourself started by standing in Tadasana, mountain pose, aligning your feet parallel, and lifting some space underneath the arches of your feet, lifting up around the kneecaps, bringing some strength into your core, and lifting the shoulders up and allowing them to settle back behind you. From here, you start to get a connection to the breath. So of course, you're already breathing, feel it. And we'll build from the breath. With your inhalation, we'll bring the arms up. Lace the fingers together, stretch out even taller with your next inhalation. And then we're going to ease our way across to the side as you exhale. Inhaling up through center and exhaling across to the other side. Inhaling through center, exhaling across. And you might notice how the top shoulder tries to sneak forward. See if you can gently roll it back, keep your chest as lifted and as open as possible. And take another few rounds to each side. Continuing the rhythm of your breath, and eventually we'll meet together back at center. So from center, we'll bring the fingers together, lace your hands, and press your palms forward. So now we're rounding the shoulders, chin's coming in towards the chest, palms are stretching forward. With your inhalation, we'll lift palms up towards the ceiling. Shoulders come back behind your ears. Beautiful. From there, we'll release the hands, hands come back behind you, and we'll interconnect the fingers, shrug the shoulders back, and pointing your hands down towards the ground. From this point, we'll lift the chest, Lift the chin with stretching space across the front of your body. With your next exhalation, we'll bend the knees, we'll come down into forward fold, hands melt over the top. And take another full breath there. And then bending the knees, slowly starting to rise your way up, we'll come into a standing position. So we start to coordinate that with the breath. Exhaling, pressing the hands forward. Inhaling, reaching your arms up. Exhale, relaxing the hands back behind you. Inhaling, lifting space across your chest. With your exhalation, we'll bend the knees, bow the head down. Relaxing your hands and working your way up to standing. Exhaling, pressing forward. Inhaling, lifting up. Exhaling, reaching the hands behind you. Inhaling, creating space in your chest. Exhale, bowing down into your forward fold, softening the shoulders, releasing your hands as you start to rise back up. We'll take another few flows with that. Let the inhalation lift you open and the exhalation help you find more depth. Take another full round. Let your breath be your guide. And we'll meet together down in forward fold, relaxing both of your hands, allowing your head to come down towards the earth. And from here, 
So bend the knees until your hands can reach the mat. So knees just bend as much as they need to. We'll step both feet back to the end of the mat and find a high plank position. So your high plank is on the balls of the feet, tailbone tucked under, hands aligned underneath your shoulders. And with your exhalation, we bend the elbows, bring the chest forward. You always have the option to bring your knees down. If there's anything going on with the shoulders, give yourself more support. And we'll come down, Chaturanga. As you breathe in, we'll bring the chest forward, untuck the toes. And with your exhalation, we'll work our way back towards downward facing dog. And take time to align yourself. Hands pointing forward, shoulders spread wide, tailbone rising, and stretching space along the backs of your legs. With your next inhalation, you can bring the body forward. We come towards high plank again. And with your exhalation, we can pull back into downward facing dog. And we'll take another few pulses here, just generating some warmth in the body. If you like more of a challenge here, of course, you can take more of a challenge. You can come from high plank, exhaling down to chaturanga, inhaling, coming back up. And you can continue that movement in time with your breath. Whether you're working with Chaturanga or Downward Dog, continuing to pulse another few cycles here. meet together when you're ready, coming into downward facing dog, smooth, stable breath, gathering your focus here, finding the stretch along the backs of the legs. Beautiful. Mm -hmm.